Welcome to Colorful Pages, the place where you learn different kinds of art, craft, embroidery, and many other creative things. And today I have come up with a very trending tutorial for you all. Now this tutorial is something which is absolutely easy, very trending, will make you look very stylish. At the same time, you can do it at your home with no fuzzy things. Now this is something which will make you look absolutely different from everyone and stunning. What I am going to teach you is how to make a fabric painting blouse for yourself at the ease of your home. So here is one what I am going to teach you live. So you can see this blouse is totally designed by me. The design which you can see here is a design which is inspired by Hungary. It's called a Hungarian folk art design. Now must be thinking from where I got this design. Now this design I have taken out from Google. Nothing you have to do. Just you need to type in Google that you want a Hungarian folk art design. Take out the printout and use it as a stencil. Now this process I have shown you in the video. So I will not explain you a lot about that right now right here. But see how fine the pattern is. The painting is very fine. It is done with triple zero brush and zero number round brush. You can see I have added little piping here of one of the colors which I have used in the design in the painting which is adding an extra charm to my blouse. Now you can see this little frill is making my blouse looking really different from the ordinary ones. So this is how I have planned and made and designed a blouse for myself and I wish all of you are going to make one like this for your own self. So without wasting any single moment, let's get started. For making this designer hand painted blouse, I am using this kind of cotton cloth as you can see, it's a beautiful cotton cloth, uh, cotton khadi cloth exactly what I have used here and I have went to the tailor I told him to take out the sleeves because I wanted to paint on the sleeves so this is one of the sleeves which you are seeing right on your screen uh, the first thing which I will do is to take out the center of the sleeve now this curved area which you are seeing is the shoulder area and this area straight line which you are seeing here is the area which will come uh, on your arm so this is the arm and this is actually the shoulder area or the place which is going to connect with the armhole okay so first thing is i'll take out the center uh, the center on the top here is already marked by the tailor i will draw a straight line like this roughly just to get an idea uh, i will not be very dark with the lines because i don't want this pencil mark to be there on the uh, design on the cloth after being painted now the design which I took out is this one so this is a Hungarian inspired Hungarian folk art inspired design which I took out from the internet of course Google and also I will take out the center of this design now that is really simple you can see this center circle and you can see this stem so what you need to do is just make a line across you don't want a full line you just need a partial line now what you do is from the down from the base you will leave around two finger space here like this two finger space you are leaving here and just mind this line this center here with the center of the cloth and this center here with the center of the paper the paper center and the, the center of the cloth should be same so like this I have set it now I am going to use a carbon paper 
सो वॉट इज दिस दिस इज द कार्बन पेपर आई एम यूजिंग अ येलो कलर कार्बन पेपर एज यू कैन सी द बैक साइड ऑफ दिस कार्बन पेपर इज येलो एंड दिस इज द फ्रंट हाउ टू यूज द कार्बन पेपर ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट दिस रिटर्न पार्ट द प्रिंटेड पार्ट ऑफ द कार्बन पेपर शुड फेस द डिजाइन सो आई विल जस्ट फ्लिप द डिजाइन यू कैन सी हाउ आई विल एडजस्ट द कार्बन पेपर दिस इज रियली सिंपल वाई आई एम यूजिंग येलो कार्बन पेपर आई एम नॉट यूजिंग ब्लैक और ब्लू बिकॉज ब्लैक एंड ब्लू कार्बन पेपर समटाइम्स दे लीव द मार्क ऑन द क्लॉथ वेरी थिक मार्क एंड वॉट हैपन्स इज वेन यू स्टार्ट पेंटिंग द द ब्लैक और द ब्लू ऑफ द कार्बन पेपर इट स्टार्ट कमिंग ऑन द कलर सो यू कैन जस्ट सेट योर कार्बन पेपर चेकिंग विच एरिया इज डन एंड वेन यू आर कन्फर्म दैट प्रॉपरली द कार्बन पेपर इज अंडर द एंटायर डिजाइन You can just simply take a pen like this. Keep a scale or something on the top to settle this so that this doesn't move. You can uh, also put a stapler or you can put a masking tape also. But this design is very small. I can just hold it with my hand and do the tracing. So this tracing will be done very easily. Only you are going to over draw the. design like this see so these circles i have drawn and i will hold with one hand the paper and i will flip and show you that how the design is coming see very much visible clearly visible right and flip it off and quickly complete your tracing of design on the cloth from the reference paper and this now we are going to see in a time lapse
See how easy it is to trace. Very simple, very easy. Now, one thing which can be done if you are not satisfied or you are confused that maybe this or maybe this or maybe this or any part of the design you have missed tracing. You are holding your uh, tracing and your carbon with your left hand. Simply with the right hand you can just turn over and check. And wherever if you think if there is any place where you have missed, you can put it back and you can easily trace it again. Any point which is light or which is missed. Uh, in my case, nothing is left. So I will remove the carbon paper and the tracing paper. And here is my sleeve ready for painting. The other sleeve also I have done, which I will show you. See, so both the sleeves, one and two, are absolutely ready for the painting process now. Quickly, we will start painting, and for that, I will introduce you to all the colors and the brushes which I will use for painting the same. For uh, coloring this, we need something which will stretch the cloth so that the color uh, goes very nicely inside the cloth for that I am using something like this this is called a frame uh, same frame I use for embroidery also and the same I use for fabric painting so there is a small you can see screw kind of thing here and for using it you need to just loosen it up a little after loose, loosening it, it will open like this. So this one which has a, a screw at the top, 
will be on the top and the other one will be at the base first i will do this sleeve and now the plain ring i had kept under the cloth and this ring i am kept keeping it over the cloth like this just nicely fix it and the color is going to be done very easily after fixing this cloth on the frame you can just stretch it a bit with your hands as you can see i am doing i am stretching from all the four sides it's not necessary to use such a big frame if you have a smaller frame you can use that also but as i am doing this art work almost every day so i have lot of art supplies need to just stretch it nicely see from all the sides and i will start painting with the greens first so i'm taking two different type of green color one is this this is called the neon green color which i'm using this is a neon green and the other green which i'm using is a, a fabric color this is a normal sap green color okay so these are the two colors which i will be using for my leaves and stems uh now let us begin painting it just shake well before use both the bottles and what i do mostly is that i keep a rough paper like this and i use the caps for painting here so here i begin i am using a very thin brush a thin round brush as you can see i am using to start painting the stuff i am painting from inside here i am using the sap green color please don't forget that do not use water here paint it very wisely the brush which i am using is a triple zero number brush it's a very fine brush which i am using because my design is very fine i don't want to use a thick brush to spoil the pattern so i'm using a very fine triple zero brush here like this and i think the rest you can see in a time lapse now
after finishing doing the green area that is the leaf and the stem area now i will proceed towards making the flowers so now these decorative flowers i will be making using different types of color of course all the colors which i will be using are fabric color but they are of different types for instance uh, the color which i am using this one can you see how nice pink it is so this one is a neon pink color and this color which i am using is a gold color right so this is the pearl metallic gold i'll open and show it to you this one is the gold which is which comes mixed there are two types of gold available in fabric color one is powder which you need to mix in the medium and the other is this type of color which is already mixed it's a liquid color so for uh, finishing this fast i wanted to use some easy mediums that is why i used this color plus this gold is little duller it is not very shiny as the uh, powdery gold so that is why due to the dullness i like to use this gold for my this particular project now this orange which you are seeing is a normal orange this is a normal fabric color which is an orange shade now this one is also a normal fabric color which is a maroon shade and this which i am using here is a teal blue color okay this is also a normal color it is um, all these colors are easily available in the art shop and you can buy this also online uh, without wasting any time we will start the coloring process but i will also tell you one thing very important is while coloring all this area uh, in your brush uh, because we have to do it fast there may be some clots or lumps in the brush so if you feel sometimes that your brush has a uh, has a clot or a lump what you do is simply take water wash your brush but after washing the brush what is important wiping it with the tissue paper i don't want any water to be there in the brush when i start coloring it because the water will um, be not so good and the color is going to bleed so to stop the bleeding or unnecessary flowing of color on the cloth what i will do every time i wash the brush or change the color then i wash the brush and i use a tissue to nicely dry this before applying color to the brush and finally applying color to the cloth so we'll start painting the flower areas and that all we'll see in a time lapse
I'm sure you have enjoyed painting with me this beautiful fabric color blouse and you can see the output how nice it looks I have just done the painting on the sleeves nowhere else both the sleeves I have painted using the fabric color now time for some tips and tricks regarding how to deal with your fabric color and your fabric after you have painted it number one that you need to reverse iron it after 24 hours. What do you mean by reverse iron? You are not supposed to uh, iron it directly on the painted area but you have to upturn the cloth and at the back side of the cloth you need to iron it and do not wash it for 72 hours. This is the tip number two and then whenever you are washing it use a mild detergent like gentle easy to wash this blouse. I hope you all have learned very nicely through this tutorial and you will definitely going to give a try and make one for yourself and also try gifting to others. So stay tuned for more creative videos. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Stay home, stay safe, stay happy always.